I'm Alden from the Ergonomics Marketing Team, and today we're going to go over some of the basics of how to use your desk both with a capacitive touch sensor and with the mobile app. First, we're going to look at how to connect your desk using the mobile app. When on the Connections page, which is the second bottom tab from the left, pull down to Refresh and then go to the bottom of the page under Nearby Devices. Simply tap your desk and hit Connect. Once connected, you can change your desk's name by tapping the cogs in the top right to go to the settings. From here, you can also lock your desk, adjust vibration intensity, and choose how your accelerometer will work. You can adjust your desk by either holding your hand above or below the touch sensor, or by tapping Adjust Desk from your desk's page. Lock your desk by holding the top and bottom of your capacitive touch sensor until you feel it vibrate. Short then long is locked. Long then short is unlocked. You can also lock it from the settings page or adjust desk page. Navigate to the settings page to enable or disable the accelerometer. Enabling gesture makes it so you need to tap the desk to adjust it rather than simply touch. Our desks have safety features enabled so it stops moving if interrupted. Changing bump sensitivity adjusts how sensitive your desk is to collisions. Tilt sensitivity changes how sensitive your desk is to rocking back and forth. You can view and edit your presets by tapping Adjust Desk. From there, simply adjust your desk to the height you want, tap the pencil next to the preset you want to change, and then hit Update. You can move your desk to these presets by clicking them on the app or double tapping them from the bottom for standing and from the top for sitting on the capacitive touch sensor. Keep in mind that if your app isn't actively connected to your desk, it will default movement to our factory preset. If you need more than three presets, you can create your own under the custom tab. To have your desk move for you, navigate to routines by clicking the farthest right bottom tab. I have this routine set up for demonstration with the default settings but you can get creative by changing the amount of active minutes, time ended, as well as turn on desk auto mode which will bypass the warning and force you to stand. To set up Google, Alexa, or Siri, navigate to settings and then click the extensions tab. Here, there is also the option to downgrade your desk version as well as information on how to reset your desk. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions that we didn't cover in this video, please email customer support at ergonomics.com.